Hello and welcome to The Screencast where we are going to be talking about setting up your development environment for software development and web application development. Now what is this thing called uh, the development environment? It is where you develop your web applications, your software. This is where, this is your workstation. Uh, the development environment includes tools such as your text editor, it also has the compilers, uh, support software, source code, version control, and uh, all the tools that you're going to be using to, uh, to to build your your applications. Now, as you as you go through this, as you are getting started with uh, web web development, software development, you want to find um, uh, tools. You want to find uh, mentors, you want to find people who are going to be helping you out. But uh, you don't always have the luxury of having a mentor. So you want to also have a reliable place such as um, something on the internet that you can uh, use to guide you through your journey. It is a journey. Uh, I have I have some uh, places that I, I like to go to. Uh, uh, one of them is called the the Learning Art Society. The Learning Art Society gave me a a scholarship a year or two ago that I'm very very grateful. It has taken me to the place that I am today, and I would like to you know use this screencast to also give back. The great thing about the Learning Art Society is they have beginner tutorials. They do not. Uh, and they are they are free. Uh, one thing I wanted to make clear is that I don't work for the Learning Art Society. They don't pay me to say this, but I just I love their work and I'm grateful for the scholarship they have given me. While their books are free, if you pay to be a member, you also have uh, other goodies such as uh, you can download their books and you can also get. Uh, screencast the tutorials you can also actually watch the experts do their work to get to the book that we are talking about today you just go to learn enough and then click on uh, where it says check out the tutorials it says clearly they're free online and then scroll down to where you see the dev environment this is going to help you set up your development environment on um, any kind of platform that you may choose those platforms that we're talking about are in the content section on the left. As you can see, the book starts with the, the dev environment link there. Click on uh, link number one. Just read through talk where he talks about the dev environment. Uh, if you're brand new, you're a beginner, you don't want to mess with your computer, and maybe you're not brand new, you are tired of uh, fighting with your computer, you, you, you have... Uh, You've no patience to 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 sit down and set it up on your computer. Oh, you just don't want to do it. You want something else, an alternative. Cloud ID is a is a good alternative, and I would recommend that for a beginner. You it will get you up and running very quickly. Another choice would be a virtual machine. For a beginner, I would not recommend this, but uh, you know, if you if you're like me, I like to try try everything. I tried everything until I crashed and burned, and then I'll pick myself up again and uh, try the next thing. But uh, to save you time, I would just recommend uh, just do the cloud IDE. There's a lot of uh, resources on the internet, and you want to be careful what is out there. I have been uh, the guinea pig of these. Uh, screen uh, screencasts and tutorials that don't really work uh, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm very grateful for these excellent tutorials that are provided by the Learning Enough Society. Michael Huddle and his team provide this work. Uh, Lee Donahue, uh, Nick Merwin. This is, um, this is amazing you know, and, it, and it's free um, and it will get you up and running. And it's it's pretty solid. So, let's say I have a Mac. So you click on Mac, and then to set up your environment, just read through, read everything that you're seeing here. What I wanted to point out is, uh, to when I started, I used to just grab this whole code, 
but what you want to do is just grab the code after the dollar sign and given that i'm on a mac i'll just hit command space bar and then hit uh, find the terminal and again this is only for mac setup if you're on um, linux you just click on linux if you're on windows you click on windows and uh, read it read their recommendations what they're uh, recommending for you to do so you need to have to be in your terminal and this is where you put in the code and you want to put each and every one of these step by step you read through everything if you run into errors go to stack overflow uh, plug in the error that you have see how other people have resolved the error if you can't find the error uh, if, if you can't find the the solution then post it on uh, on their on their forum telling them what you did to uh, rectify the problem and uh, that way it helps anybody who wants to help you it shows that you actually tried to 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 help yourself and uh, they won't waste their time trying or recommending what you have already tried okay so this is a journey and uh, it gets frustrating uh, but you you want to be able to identify the professionals identify the giants who you are going to be standing on they are going to be helping you through this journey so you move along with your this tutorial setting up your development environment in this example it's a mac but you're not limited to that it depends on what you have you may have a mac a linux or a windows so you just keep going through the tutorial like i said every place you see the dollar sign it means you have to go to your terminal and put that in your terminal okay and then when you get to the end of your terminal you'll notice it by seeing a different kind of a machine this is a linux so when you get to linux you stop this is because this is uh, assuming you're on a on a mac but if you're not on a mac you're on a linux then you start on a linux and then you go all the way until you're done okay just just read through what they're telling you what they're recommending for you to do all right so let's just look at an example of this is my development environment and this is my terminal i had already i had it up already but if i didn't i'll just hit command t and but there it's it's up already so let's close it and i'll show you what i'm talking about so okay and then i hit command t it gives me my terminal or command spacebar that will give me the the terminal too it should uh there you go we can just select the terminal that i am using here but I'll just uh, go over here. I think it moved to the other window and I'm gonna be moving it back to the window that we are using, which is right there, there we go. Okay, I need a new window. Let me see where I am. Just wanna give you an example. Uh, CD Pro, I want to go to the screencast. I think I can get, yeah, there we go. Okay. So in here, I can just start up a new project, Rails, new, uh, my blog, just call it my blog. And this should build a new Rails project for me. And while it is uh, being built, I can start up a, I'm going to split my screen into two. Okay, there we go. And on this side, I'm going to enter into the blog CD, my blog. And I split it because I want to run my server on, on the right here. So if you look on the left, you will notice that the project is still being built. This is a, a, a Rails project, and we'll talk more about that in other screencasts. But for now, I just wanted to show you the example of my uh, development environment. So CD means change directory into project that I just built which is uh, my blog Hit clear and I'll go to the right and say rails s the s stands for server that fires up my server and my my text editor of choice is vim so I'm going to say uh, vim so vim 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 and I want to open and I'll tell vim the direct what I want to open 
So because it's doing this, it tells me that I might not be in. Yeah, I'm not. So CD my blog. I was not in it yet. I was. So now that I'm in my project, I can say uh, Vim gem file. Looks like I did not enter it yet. That's weird. CD my. Okay, now that I'm in. Then Vim. Okay, there we go. Now I'm in. So that's how I would open my the file that I wanted to work on. So in this case, the example is a gem file. We are not going to talk about the gem file yet. Uh, but these are all things that I learned from, uh, you know, I really owe it to the, the Learning Enough Society and many other people who I have, uh, whose tutorials I have taken. And uh, I, I wa just wanted to, you know, use my screencast to, to, to give back. So... On the right, like we said, we fired up the server to see what we what we created using the Rails application. We just uh, go to a browser, and I'll go to localhost three thousand, and there is my my new project, and then I can uh, take it from there. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions or comments. Please feel free to send me an email at feedback at zambezi.app. Once again, it's feedback at zambezi.app. Thank you and have a great day.